Hi, welcome to the Wind.io LED wearable designer. My name is Grant, I'm one of the developers on the project. Thanks for checking us out. Please keep in mind this is a friends and family release, so do bear with any rough ed edges we may have. Uh, right now I'd like to take you through a walkthrough of how the designer works. Okay, so here's the designer main interface. To start off, you can choose either a blank board or a completed board that you can make modifications to. So for the blank boards, there are a variety of shapes, and you can just add LEDs to those. And for the uh, completed boards, we've come up with a couple different things that we like. So here's a board with a bunch of white and blue LEDs alternating. You can also choose uh, a board with some colors. So when you try to make a change, it'll ask you if you want to make sure that you are going to get rid of your changes. So the LED choices we have are white, blue, and full color, also known as RGB. Full color LEDs are a red, a green, and a blue all in one. They're like a pixel on your computer. So you can make them any color you like. White and blue LEDs can be on or off or, or, or faded, uh, but they count as only one LED, whereas a full color counts as three. So this design has the maximum number of LEDs, nine, uh, because uh, each one counts as three. But I can remove some of these and add some white and blue ones, then you can see how more are possible. So I can either click to select, or I can also drag to select multiple LEDs. And then if I hit the delete or backspace key, they go away. And then I can start dragging more LEDs onto the board. So there's a blue one and there's a white one, and I can add another RGB one also. For the existing designs, I can also make changes to them, so if I wanted to move the LEDs around, I can do that. Or I could say I want to start over with a heart, maybe make my own. Or I could say, you know, I really like their heart, so I'll just choose that one. So first step is you place all the LEDs the way you want. Remember, you can have up to nine full color or 27 blue or white. Now once you've got the LEDs placed, it's time to make animations for those LEDs. When the wearable comes to you, it will have the pattern that you set here in addition to some more patterns that we've come up with. But if you'd like to set your own, this is the way you do it. So uh, each of these are frames in the animation. And if you click through, you see that the colors are changing. And so if I hit play on this, it's stepping through each frame. I can change the speed on it, and it'll move the frames more quickly, like so. And so however you have this set, when you hit checkout, that's what your board will do when you first turn it on. So how do you change the colors? Well, for full color LEDs, you can click to select, and then change the color here. So this changes the hue. And then for any hue, let's say red, we can also go towards white. White is a valid color. You can also turn it all the way off. That's black or other variations. You can also select multiple LEDs like so and set the color on all of them. So here I can set the ball to be magenta. Now, for blue and white LEDs, let's take a look at a design that lets us do that. So I'll switch to the mixed circle. So for uh, blue and white LEDs, they can be on or off. So I can just set the brightness here. This is all the way on and all the way off. Uh, off. Same thing for the white. And with LEDs that are just the one color, I can set them all at the same time, too. So here they are all on and all off, on, off. And so what you do is go through each step and set that frame the way you want it to be and then keep going. So I can set this one to be all the way bright and then the next one a little bit dimmer. And the next one a little dimmer than that. And the next one a little less than that. The next one a little less than that. And a little less than that. And a little 
less than that. And at this point, we're about off. But now if I hit play, you'll see that they go through those colors. And this might look a little more interesting if we speed it up. So once you've got an animation that you like, you can just help hit checkout. And here you order and put in your payment information. And for shipping, here are your choices. So you'll be able to pick up your order in San Francisco before Burning Man, or pick it up at Burning Man if you're going, or we can ship it to you after Burning Man for, five, for an extra $5. Um, so that'll be $30 in uh, total. Uh, it's $25 just for the, for the wearable if you pick it up yourself. Just one more note about placing LEDs. These lighter colored areas are sections that you can't place LEDs on. So if you try to drag an LED on there, you'll see that a red halo appears, and that'll prevent you from checking out. You also can't place LEDs on other LEDs, like this, and you can't place LEDs off the board. So if you see red halos around your LEDs, that means you need to move them around to get your design to check out. So that's it. Thanks again for your business. If you have any questions, give us an email at info at wind.io, or you can even call us at 415-213-5898. Thanks.